Good Thursday morning, everybody. Howdy. Jellybean says hello. Yeah, yeah. All right. This was pretty cool. I had to pull over real, real quick. I believe this is an old uh, drive-in movie theater, I think. Not a hundred percent sure. Clark's just sitting right there. And uh, I'm not quite sure. I do believe it was just an old movie place, I think. I'm not even sure if I can get in here or not. Go back and around this way real quick. Oh my, look at all that in the ground. <laughs> really muddy. Let's try to see what I can find here. Oh, there's a cool old building. Oh man. Cool old building in the back here. Oh, this isn't neat. all of that. Try to get out of this nasty, oh man, mud. Let's see if we can get in here somehow. Not 100% sure on this one, but we will surely Give it a try. You know me. We're in a abandoned territory country now. Okay, it does say just uh, keep gate closed. There may be a lock on it. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, there's lots of padlocks on it, so. That's not gonna happen, but at least you can see there's a building right there. And there's a building right there. I'm pretty sure this used to just be an old drive-in movie place. All right, well, that didn't super pan out, so let's, uh. Let's go back. The wind turbines are really big when you actually get up on them here close. Wow. It's pretty neat to see one so up close like this. We're still on highway uh, or road 380. It's, uh, it's very RV friendly if you want to know. If you don't want to be on the the interstate roadways, you can definitely take the 380. I've had no no issues. In fact, I haven't even seen anybody in 20 or 30 miles it's been. So, it's uh, definitely been a nice, uh, nice change of pace from the uh, interstate system. statue here of this longhorn bull. Alright, we finally hit a town here. What a cute town. Ooh, we just drove over a... Cobblestone Road. This is the town of Post, Texas. And boy, is it cute. It is. The US 380 jogs a little bit in these towns. 
What a cute little town. Oh yeah. Seeing these little taco companies, and they look so good. <laughs> Here is the vineyard we are staying at. They have a nice little outdoor patio. There's Clark back there in the in the back in the sun, trying to warm up a little bit. I guess you can sit here if it's a little warmer outside. This is really cute. It is. I wish we could have gotten here before four because I would really love to see the process and how it works. It's closed currently. That's okay. What did you see inside anything? Yeah, yeah, it's really really cool. It's like a little event place where you do the wine tasting and everything. Ah. And you can buy whatever bottles that you like. Cool little old John Deere tractor sits out uh, sits out front. It's definitely uh, chilly outside. There were a lot of people who uh, gave reviews and they loved it but they said that there was a problem with the goat's head um, stickers, but I'm not seeing any yet. Kind of used to those, but I'm not seeing any yet. That must be the uh, the back where the uh, workers stay. I see a bunch of fifth wheels and travel trailers back there. That's probably where all the workers are at. Just walk for a minute and see what we see. This, this place is really huge. I believe these things are dormant right now in hibernation for the winter time. I helped build a vineyard many years ago. And I didn't really know you build them in these colder areas. But uh, obviously if they didn't have success here, they wouldn't be... Uh, doing it I mean you can uh, it goes back pretty far I just gotta get on the other side of this tree line here it's a nice place to stretch your legs when you've been on the road all day long so seems very quiet it feels like Alaska feels like Alaska Michelle said and there's I can't feel my <laughs> some of their farming equipment obviously You can see it's it's really a large place here that was developed. There may be a building all the way back there, but I am not that ambitious today. And as you can see, the road goes back really far, so. It's a nice little stopover just for the evening if you ever need something, so. It's, uh, what town are we in? Brownsfield. Brownsfield, Texas. I can't form words. I'm so cold. <laughs> it is a little chilly out. That is for sure. All right. We're going to take a walk back to the camper and then, uh, and then have some dinner here. Thaw out. And thaw out a little bit for the evening. All right, while well, Michelle goes back into the RV from the frozen tundra, I'll show you how large this place is. Now we're on the, the back side over here. And uh, there's that building I was showing you from the other side. And there's a road. It goes all the way down to the next part of the vineyard. And then we turn this way. 
And there's the rest of the vineyard. It's a really huge place. It's a little tricky to find, but they do send you uh they do send you some uh some directions. Um I just hadn't looked that well, so we had to call them again. But uh they had sent them. I just uh I just missed it, but All right. We are going to go in. I am going to go inside now and uh try to warm up for the evening.